Alright, this one is called Trying to Explain Why a Slice of Life Anime Made You Cry. I have never cried for a Slice of Life anime. At least I don't think I have. The only animes I've cried to on YouTube is Oshinoko, Jujutsu Kaisen, ReZero. There is, I did not cry for Bunny Girl Senpai. Mm -mm. Slice of Life cannot make me cry, but Prozy did give it to me. Now you listen to your big bro. One of these days, we're gonna open our own pizza place. And we're gonna make a pie so good. It'll reach the stars. <laughs> this is a fucking death flag, bro. Something terrible is gonna happen when you start saying shit like one day when we're gonna have this dream. What is that supposed to mean? What? I'm serious. Come on. Cut it out, bro. <laughs> that really hurt. Oh. Oh no. That was a flashback. Is bro gone now? Hello? So it's a show about pizza? It's not just a show about pizza! <laughs> it's more to it than that! <laughs> I mean, look, like, like, the pizza shit didn't matter, right? Whenever there's, like, emotional moments in Slice of Life stuff, it's not the goal, it's not the dream they had of making the best pizza ever. It's the fact that we were gonna do it together, bro. And then he wakes up, and it was a flashback, and bro isn't there anymore. And I guess to any normie, it may seem like, what, you, fr you fucking crying about pizza? No, it's because my bro isn't here anymore. That was a silly thing little video. I do enjoy the skits though. Great voice actor too. Please go check out his channel if you haven't. Here's a link. I'll see you next time.